Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm about to show you something that's going to completely change how you think about AI roleplay. What you're seeing right here is unlimited, uncensored AI roleplay running completely free. No expensive GPU required, no monthly subscriptions, and definitely no restrictions like character.ai. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have your own professional AI roleplay setup that rivals any paid service and it won't cost you a single penny. We're going to combine Silly Tavern with Google Colab's free GPU to create unlimited AI magic. Let's make some AI magic happen. Okay, here's exactly what we're building today. Complete Silly Tavern installation and setup, access to Google Colab's free GPU resources, connection between local interface and cloud computing, loading and testing uncensored AI models, and your first successful roleplay session. This isn't just another basic tutorial. I'm going to show you the optimization tricks that most creators skip, the troubleshooting solutions for common problems, and how to get the best possible results from free resources. Plus, this is just the beginning. This setup opens the door to voice synthesis, image generation, and advanced character creation that we'll cover in upcoming videos. Before we dive in, let's make sure you're ready to follow along. Here's what we need. A computer running Windows, Mac, or Linux, stable internet connection, a Google account, free Gmail account works, about two gigabytes of free storage space, and basic computer skills. If you can install software, you're good. Notice what's not on this list. Expensive graphics cards, technical programming knowledge, or paid subscriptions. This entire setup works on any computer, even old laptops. If you're coming from my AI art tutorials, you already know I'm all about making advanced AI accessible to everyone. This is no different. All right, let's start with Silly Tavern. Head over to github.com slash silly tavern. Now I see some of you in the comments asking, what exactly is Silly Tavern? Think of it as the ultimate interface for AI conversations. It started as a fork of Tavern AI and has grown into the most powerful front end for LLM interactions. Click on releases on the right side, then download the latest release. We want the source code zip file. While that downloads, let me explain why Silly Tavern is game changing. Unlike web-based solutions, you control everything. The models, the conversations, the characters, no censorship, no limitations, no sudden policy changes. Okay, now let's extract the downloaded zip file to somewhere easily accessible. I recommend creating a folder called AI Tools on your desktop. Before starting Silly Tavern, you'll need to install Node.js. Go to nodejs.com and download the Windows installer for Node.js. Once the download is complete, install Node.js just like you would any other Windows application. After successfully installing the node, Navigate into the Silly Tavern folder and double click start.bat. Don't panic when you see the black terminal window. This is normal. It's downloading dependencies and setting up the environment. This might take a few minutes on first run. Perfect. When you see Silly Tavern open in your browser at localhost 8000, we're ready for the next step. Quick tip, bookmark this localhost address. You'll be using it regularly. Now for the magic part, accessing free cloud GPUs. Open a new tab and go to colab.research.google.com. Google Colab is essentially free access to powerful cloud computers, including GPUs that would cost thousands of dollars to buy. We're going to exploit this legally for our AI roleplay setup. Sign in with your Google account. If you don't have one, create it now. It's free and takes 30 seconds. Now this is crucial. 
we need the specific Cobalt CPP notebook. Go to this collab link. This notebook is maintained by Lost Ruins, the creator of Cobalt CPP. It's regularly updated and optimized for Colab's environment. Okay, now let's start your Google Colab runtime. Click Connect T4. The T4 GPU is free and provides enough performance for smooth AI chat sessions. Next, let's add our uncensored model link in the model input field. For this tutorial, we're using Mythomax 13B from the block. You'll find the link in the video description. Here's a quick comparison of available model versions, including their quality and speed ratios. We'll be using the recommended balance version, offering medium speed and good output quality. If you prefer even faster responses, feel free to try a smaller variant, though keep in mind smaller models may sacrifice context and depth. Paste the chosen model link into the Cobalt model input box, then click Run to start loading the model. While this loads, let me explain the architecture. Silly Tavern on your computer will send requests to Cobalt CPP running on Google servers. You get the best of both worlds, local control with cloud computing power. 2,000 years later. Once you have your Cobalt CPP API link with the model loaded, copy that API URL for later use. Switch back to Silly Tavern and click the API Connections button, the plug icon in the top bar. Select Text Completion, then choose Cobalt CPP from the API type. Paste your API URL into the provided field. Click Connect. If everything is set up correctly, you'll see a green indicator. That's it! Your Silly Tavern interface is now connected to powerful cloud AI. To make sure everything's working, send a simple message and check the response. As you can see, our modal is generating the response. Now, let's start the part we're here for, some role play. First, click on the character card to open the character list in Silly Tavern. By default, you'll see one character role play ready to use immediately. The best part, you're not limited. Silly Tavern lets you import any character you want from the Janitor AI website. For this demonstration, I've already imported Daenerys from Game of Thrones. Now let's go through importing another character. Head over to the Janitor AI website, which has a full catalog of amazing characters. Now pick one you like, copy its character link, and switch back to Silly Tavern. Click the Import Character from URL icon, paste the character link, and hit import and boom, your new character is added and ready for some role play. Okay, now let's test her out. I'm just gonna run through a scenario, not because I wanna be mean, just for testing. Don't judge me, all right? This is all part of exploring how these character personalities respond in different situations. That was just a quick, lazy chat. I can't go uncensored here on YouTube. From this point on, you're free to explore and take full control of your sessions. There are no limits to what you can talk about or how extreme or dark you want to take the story with any character. Just remember to use it responsibly and respect the boundaries you set for yourself and others. Okay, now let's customize some basic settings. Click the settings icon and turn on visual novel mode. This gives your chat window a unique, immersive vibe. Now, click the image for a full character view. There are plenty of other settings you can explore on your own as well. Finally, change the background to set the mood. Choose from preset options or upload your own to create the perfect atmosphere for your roleplay session. Before wrapping up the video, let me address the most common problems you might encounter. Connection failed. This usually means Colab disconnected. Just refresh your Colab notebook and restart Cobalt CPP. Don't forget to copy the new API URL back into Silly Tavern. Slow responses. Free tier GPUs can get busy. 
if things are lagging, try switch them to a different model or wait for off-peak hours. Model won't load. Double check your internet connection and make sure you've chosen a model that fits within your GPU memory limits. The 8B models are safest for the free tier. I'll include a recommended 8B model link in the video description. Silly Tavern won't start. Confirm that you fully extracted all files and have internet access for the initial setup. Remember, persistence is key. Even experienced users run into these problems. The solution usually comes down to restarting, reconnecting, and trying again. Okay, with that being said, that's it for today's tutorial. If this guide helped you create some AI magic, smash that like button and subscribe for more budget-friendly AI tutorials. Drop a comment sharing your first successful AI roleplay experience. And don't forget to check out my other AI tutorial videos for even more tips and tricks. Remember, we make AI magic accessible to everyone. Keep creating, keep experimenting, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.